My name is Robert Swan, and I am the first person in history to have walked to the North and South Pole. At the age of 11, I was inspired by the real stories of the real explorers to engage on this dream. And I was told clearly that this dream was simply not possible. I was told that at this moment in history, more people had stood on the moon than had walked to the poles. So really, what chance did I have? It would be my honor to come and share this story with your audience. This is a story about what is possible to achieve together. It is a story about authentic teamwork and leadership. It's a story about teams in the most hostile environments on this planet, dealing with unexpected, terrible setbacks, but somehow, somehow delivering the mission in the end. I would like to bring this story from the edge back home to your audience. I would like to show them how the tools we used to overcome these obstacles are truly relevant and inspiring in dealing with the challenges that we all face here and now. Challenges such as dealing with isolation, the challenge that we all face on stepping it up to be more resilient, and the challenge that all of us have with that fear to return to normal. Failure has never been an option for me, and I've truly feared it. For 35 years, I have been trying to cross the whole of the Antarctic landmass on foot. And over the last three years, I've been knocked back from completing that mission through some very, very painful and horrid injuries. After 1,460 miles on foot, I only have 97 miles now to complete that mission. And I will tell the story of how I've had to deal with that failure and how I've turned that perceived failure into a success. And in the year 2023, I will go back and finish those 97 miles to the South Geographic Pole and eventually deliver on my word. Sustainability is now a global imperative. On my expeditions, I faced climate change firsthand. When we walked to the South Pole, we walked under the hole in the ozone layer before it was even discovered. My eyes changed colour and were permanently damaged. Our faces blistered out, the skin ripped away. And that was because of the excessive ultraviolet rays coming through that hole as we walked. On the North Pole, the ocean beneath our feet melted months before it ever had, and we all nearly drowned. I believe that we need to focus on solutions. And I deliver a very positive message on sustainability. I believe no one is ever inspired by negative. I also remind people of their own personal responsibility on these issues and give them ideas on how they can have a positive impact. Right now, in our world, the word commitment cannot become an empty word. 30 years ago, I was charged by Jacques Cousteau and the United Nations to take on a mission to try and make sure that Antarctica, the last great wilderness left on Earth, remains alone as a natural reserve land for science and peace. I share with audiences how over 30 long years, my commitment to that mission has not wavered and I outline plans of what we're going to do over the next 20 years to deliver on that mission. I have tried and I keep trying 
to live by these words. If you can do, or dream you can, begin it now, for boldness has genius, power and magic in it.